is a city under siege. Thousands of yellow vested protesters left scenes of violence and chaos, blood and destruction in their wake. As debris burned in the streets, stones were pulled out of historic cobbled roads. And the French capital forced into lockdown in a day of rage against the high cost of living. Others were moved to tears as they decried the poverty that some French people live in. Draped in French flags, two protesters symbolically laid down on the Champs Elysees. Others threw flares at police. And hundreds blocked traffic on the famous Paris Ring Road. The Yellow Vest militants have been met with force by French riot police. Thousands of officers were deployed to preempt the feared attacks. Today, protesters could be seen on the ground after police fired tear gas in an effort to control the worst unrest France has seen in a generation. Few tourists ventured into the streets. You have to see Paris in the... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the weather, the people, the season. This is just for my daughter. She wanted to come here today to see Eiffel Tower. But we are a bit disappointed because it's closed. The government has abandoned its proposed fuel tax hike, intended to lower France's carbon emissions. But the movement has rapidly morphed into a broad rebellion against President Emmanuel Macron. So where is President Macron? He hasn't said anything since the violence erupted. But here's the problem. We know the group by the distinctive yellow vest that they wear. Every French motorist is supposed to have one in their car. But there's no real person in charge, and so the government says it doesn't know who it should be negotiating with. France's interior minister, though, promising today that the country will soon hear from Macron.